all right in this video today i'm going to take you guys video how you're going to create cargo career website so okay my name is lawrence i create videos how to make money online and some tech tips as well so if you're new made to channel please endeavor to splash that red subscription button and click the bell icon turn it to all in order to get notified whenever i drop an awesome video like this and to my returning subscribers i really appreciate you guys for being alongside me right away from the beginning at this moment so okay so right now here on my system so i've already logged into the admin so as you guys can see this admin of the career website i've already installed this so from this video i'm going to take you guys really how you're going to set up the admin or the setup has been done already so um on my next part next part of the video i'm going to take you guys really how you're going to start the installation so for those who need the script i'm going to drop a link below the description so that you guys can be able to click and get the script as well okay so uh, without wasting much of our time here it is the interface of the admin okay you can see here control panel and then locker packages then here it has a drop down menu which will have package control panel pre alert list register package register multiple packages and then list of packages and then list of payment and then and the next one here we have shipping link then the shipping has drop down menu which is uh and we have sh there's shipping shipping control panel and then create shipment create multiple shipment and then list of shipments list of payments and then we have pickups pickups it it has a drop down menu which have collection control panel creates pickup and the rest you can see these are the features it has okay then we'll go to settings you click on general settings here so click on general setting here you can see where you can be able to configure your website system configuration we have you can set your time zone english the language you want then we have english french and then spanish and arabic you can also add any one you want and then currency you can change currency as well and then logo and favicon okay favicon and then we have email settings and then whatsapp api settings and then click send api configuration and then notification where you can be able to set your SS, SSM templates, email notification, that is SMTP, and then the foot notification template as well. These are the things if you want to configure your site, everything has been done. Just only you to get the script and then do everything. No, you cannot waste your time using WordPress or anything. Everything is done easy here. So, um, so I'm going to create a, I've already created a, a, a shipment so i want us to track it and see and one thing about the script that i really love is oh let me take you guys where i want to explain this let's check the current shipping let's see where is it shipment list of shipments so we're going to track this i'm going to track this this is a shipping code this is a shipping code i'm going to copy this and let me log out here i'll log out and then we we'll track a ship let's click on tracking sorry it's loading so we're going to track a shipment there is one thing i really love about this script is uh, it gives information of the current tracking where the location where the the product or the goods is where everything is so you can control it from the admin panel so it's loading so that we can track it as well so you can also add admin you can add admin you can even set admin here as well so for those who need an uh, in investment website or trading website, you can also contact me. You can get investment website and trading website. Okay. So I don't know why it's, it's delaying. It's my network. Let me click on tracking here. Let's see. 
Okay. The network is kind of bad a little bit. Okay, that's finally open. So I'm going to track here. Search now. So finally, you can see here, you can see pending is under pending payments right now. You can see pending payment. You can see from the sender and then the receiver. And then still so received United States destination and then ship, shipping time and then estimated delivery time dates and then contact name and you can see here the address and then we have shipping history so i'm going to update this shipping history we we'll see where it is okay let me log in to the let me log in to the admin and then i'll update this shipping i'll come to shipping sh list of shipments okay and then we'll click here and then edit shipment or assign driver okay or print or shipment tracking you can click on shipment tracking then we're going to change this destination will be like okay now the goose is in Benin Benin Republic and then the office let's change any office and then is it pending or is in transit let's say received office or pending collection or approved or invoice or cancelled or pending payments that's when you want to build okay then you click on pending payment or let's say um in transit okay let's see the the goods are in transit okay so the dates you can also change choose dates and then add okay the address where the ship the sh the, the the goods or the product is so you add it then to tell you please wait done new shipment tracking has been added so we come let's refresh this it's loading i don't know my network is kind of a little bit dull okay you can see it has added you can see pen in you can see in transit right look at it here you can see in transit i just added it the goods are in transit you can see so everything there you can also print your shipment as well you can print your shipment so it's loading you can see you can print it as well they write where it is and the rest and even package you can see print you can print you can print this as evidence to whosoever you want to send it to so right now here um i'm going to take you guys back on how to do this installation this is where i want you guys to be very careful learn and learn how to do it i don't want unnecessary questions somebody will come and be asking me questions that i don't really understand okay so you should watch it and understand it clearly very careful before you get the script so this is the place where we're we're going to do the final installation so that you guys will understand everything really so now i'm taking guys how you're going to do the installation you are going to make use of the script okay so I'm going to log into my cPanel right now here. Sorry, my system is kind of slow. So it's redirecting me where I'm going to log in to the cPanel. All right, so I've logged into the cPanel here. So let me go to domain. I'll go to domain because I'm going to install this on subdomain. Okay, so sorry, it's loading. 
it's not easy over here let me quit this or has to be quit it's loading I'm sorry my network is kind of bad What's going on? Anyways, let me go back. I'm going to do the installation. I'll go to the files. I've already created the subdomain. So here is a subdomain. So I'm going to delete this whole files. I'm going to delete this whole files and do everything afresh so that you guys can understand it. After you get the script, you won't be asking me questions again on how to do this, how to do that, how to do this installation. So I'm going to delete this all. Confirm delete. So it's deleting. All right. It's done so i'm going to inside the view the trash and delete it as well here let me select it all and then delete it so that i have more space it's loading it's deleting okay everything has been deleted so we have to go back to the subdomain here so let's load the subdomain Let's load this up to me. I mean that you can see nothing is here. Nothing is here. You can see this is the only script that is inside, and this is the script. Okay, so I'm going to extract it. I'll click on extract. It's extracting. It's extracting first of all once you're done you know how to you guys know how to create your database so we'll go back to database click on manage database click on manage database so we're going to create a new database okay okay it's done extracting right so we click on we reload this link again so right now as we reload the link we're going to click next and then here they will ask you for purchase code so i can provide the code to you this is the code okay so here is a code this is a code so right and then and then lost tech and then verify then next so right now here they will say data database host we have to so i'm going to create a database right now so i'm going to create a database um let's say cargo this is for the sake of this tutorial right so cargo so i'm going to click on cargo and then go back and then add user also let's say cargo for the sake of the video and then we'll copy the password we'll copy the password and then i've copied the password use it and then create create i'm going to click create oh let me regenerate the first okay it's done okay then click on create user okay i guess you guys know about this so i've copied the password already so i have to come back here paste the password where is the database password paste it here and then we we'll go back again the database password and user and new user has been added together so i'm going to add user to database so this is cargo and then cargo as well and then i'm going to add them together 
so once adding then you have to allow all privileges and then make changes from there you have to come and copy this database and database user so all are the same so what you're going to do is you have to paste it here and then database name you see this here and then database host will be like localhost localhost and then import so once you click on import it's loading then the installation will be done here you can see database was successfully imported then click next then here these are the login details you can see you can now log in using your email or username admin and a password of 09731 so we're going to click on login so we have done we are done with the installation right now so now you can see everything here is done we click on login because i've already have the logins on save as a cookies on my system so everything here you can see is done so safe perfect so i guess you guys know how to set this set your smtp so if you don't know how to set your smtp i have a video on my youtube channel search smtp settings by lost tech one you can be able to watch a video on how to set your smtp and everything will be done perfect everything will be done successfully so that's how you can be able to do to create your own cargo website so we can see everything is done without any stress so if you need a script i'm going to drop a link in the description below where you can be able to get the script and for those who can not be able to make use of the script you can contact me i will create the site also as well i will drop the price on um, how much i can be able to create the site for you and for those who need um, investment website also you can contact me and for those who need trading website online banking website and any kind of platform you can contact me you get it as well so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate as i earlier said my name is lawrence i crave it was to make money online and tech tips and affiliate marketing and anything so if you're new on my youtube channel please endeavor to splash the red subscription button click the bell icon turn it to all in order to get notified whenever i drop an awesome video like this thank you guys for watching and i really appreciate see you guys in another video